Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader and in this video we'll be taking a look at NEO stock and NEO as a company and we'll be doing some technical key analysis on NEO stock and first and foremost we'll be going over some of the key news article on NEO. Some of these are clubbed in with you know their um, the 2022 earnings call that happened and then what came out of that and the article headline says that NEO expects to be profitable by end of this year. Let's cover this what it says and then I have some more news about NEO to cover in this video as well. So please hit the like and subscribe if you like watching my videos and also please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. With that let's begin. So in this specific article it goes on saying that China's leading electric car maker NEO expects its 2023 sales to double figures from 2022 in hopes the firm will no longer be in the red by the end of the fourth quarter, which is of this year. The Shanghai-based company delivered 122,486 electric vehicles in 2022, representing a 34% growth year on year. Li said he hopes the 2022 figure can be doubled this year, although the first quarter will be tough as its new models will not arrive until the second quarter. Now, I do want to pause on this statement a little bit and something uh, I do want to mention, take it as a grain of salt, but again, I have my long position on NEO. I believe highly in the company. I have done plenty of videos on NEO, why I believe the stock is highly undervalued and you know, you can check that out on my channel as well. I'll leave the link to this playlist as well in the, you know, the description of this video. Um, but when I say take it as a grain of salt, what I mean that we have heard it numerous times from Neo that hopes the 2022 figure can be doubled this year. They say, they set the expectation, but then in the near present, they always throw in a little bit of negative sentiment that, oh, it's not we don't see it happening in the near term but we are hoping we see this a lot so just take it as a grain of salt this statement that when they say they hope to be profitable or they will double this year in 2023 which i think they will but what i really sometimes don't like is then they go on saying that all those say for example in this case the first quarter will be tough as its new models will not arrive until the second quarter so it's like setting up the expectations and then suddenly downplaying those expectations by throwing in something um, not up to the mark, right? Like, oh, well, yes, we will be there, but hey, don't expect it right now because we are seeing some, you know, headwinds, right? So this is something I don't like about their messaging. Uh, this is, yeah, but still, you know, this is good. Like, you know, they're hit and miss and... I think NEO can double its sales because I'll cover why I think that it's new. Well, again, like I believe in NEO as a real, it's a really great company. It's, um, it's highly undervalued their way of administrating and managing their finances and how they're scaling is, is just amazing. They have good hand on uh, management on their cash. Like they're just not burning and just raising capital. They're properly managing their business growth. Now, okay, let's cover this next item because this is the important one here. In the fourth quarter of 2022, NEO seized 54.8% share in EV segment priced from 300 yuan, which is $43,000, give or take. Um, it's quite a key achievement, 54.8% in the premium segment. And then 75.8% share in the segment priced more than 400,000 yuan, which is around 56 to 57 thousand dollars. So in the premium segment, uh, they are capitalizing a lot on the market share, and that's quite amazing. I mean, this already shows that Neo is one of the favorites among premium customers, right? The car maker also aims to build 1,000 battery swapping stations this year to bring the total figure to 2,300. And then the little bit of you know revenues that I have covered in previous video as well, but I'll just quickly go over. So we did even did though we see the revenue go up 
we still saw some you know huge well we saw huge losses that was because of the cost of sales batteries um, you know costs and also they spend a lot in research and development and general administrative expenses he said that lee said says that the growing sales of its new models coupled with raw materials prices that are not going to be fluctuating that much this year will enable the startup to stop losing money by the fourth quarter now this is very important if neo by the end of this year can get profitable on the books this is going to reflect really great on the stock price guys uh, let's visit the stock price quickly i have one more article to cover but let's visit the stock price a little bit what most analysts look for is that company profitable because when the company is profitable on the cash books it just completely changes the pictures of all other analysis that someone does on the stock price valuation i mean this will be the another first company out of China to become profitable because Xpeng and Li Auto are also not profitable and Neo is leaving them behind in the dust. So if Neo can become profitable, we can start comparing Neo to Tesla, apples to well not apples to apple, but I should say a big apple to a smaller apple. But that's gonna, gonna be a key improvement on the Neo side of the things, right? With with this profitability by the end of this year. I mean if this can happen. Oh boy, 2024 will be great for Neo. We still, again, I believe that uh, we'll cover that in technical analysis. Let's quickly cover another article first. So Neo 85 is set to launch or set to come in UK by the end of this year. And also they are teasing another model, which is they call Estate, I guess. Uh, so let's let's cover line by line here. The new 85 electric saloon arriving in the UK later this year could also be joined by an estate revealed today in the latest round of Chinese government registry filings. And this is, you know, slated as 9th of March 2023 by Greg Cable. Um, again, so this just shows that Neo's focus is to keep expanding in European market as well. They are the first electric, well, after China, they are the first another electric vehicle accepting country. And a lot of reforms are going in that direction as well. And this is how it looks like, guys. This another, besides 85, this is, um, you know, their original model. And then this is more or less the, the estate version that they plan to launch in UK as per what we see today. I'll leave the link to this article in the video description below. It took me a while to actually really understand if it's like a new vehicle or something out of ed5 they're referring to as an estate but definitely there is you can see it's more like a the bab behind is changed a little little bit to provide more space i'll leave the link to this article they go in more detail as well on you know what are the specifics of it and um yeah let's now quickly i want to quickly also mention that guys um like feel free to check out my channel i do a lot of analysis on many type of stocks nvidia tesla you know uh, neo and also meta and how and uh, you know again any stock that you guys want me to pick please let me know as well i'll do the analysis on that too my i have been building a series on the tesla shorting side which has you know played out really well and um yeah so feel free to check out my channel guys um and let's get back to our neo stock now let's do some technical key analysis and i know the stock price does not look great uh, i do have to draw another key level of support here and then we'll talk about a few things with the stock price now one thing i do have to highlight is as we were talking about if neo can get to profitability by the end of this year that's to be honest guys that's a huge win i mean that just gonna completely change the perspective of the stock it's gonna completely you know pop the stock out of this consolidation or range of the downtrend that it has been in and it's ugly to see because this company is adding so much value and it's like beaten down right now right now what we are seeing with neo and this is something who people my you know audiences um who have been seeing my videos i've been following you know they to them it may sound you know uh very little bit of repetitive here but i just want to cover that guys i mean i'm long on neo um but 
to really trade this stock even on swing or long side or even just to get back again in that confidence zone that yep neo now is set to go up and market is accepting it, we at least need to get over this first of all 20 days moving average, which is this yellow line, which is at $9.71, which brings me to another point that we really need to get back into this range of $9 to $12.38. And I will still be not very bullish on, well, I'm bullish on NEO, well, but in the given time range, I can only foresee the stock to showing some quick volatility or movements to the upside when new stock can establish itself over $12.35 or $12.37 to be precise. Few cents here and there doesn't really matter because we have this pivotal points around these levels. These have been acting as a really strong resistance, right, guys, these two levels. We need to get over this $12 and let's say 50 cents and we will resist again at this 200 days moving average guys wherever it will be once we get popped out of this and with all those positive news and everything then we see new at least to start kind of around 20 dollars range and if new can get profitable by the end of this year i mean this thing can trade in my opinion guys it's just my opinion easily 20 to 30 dollars even more than 30 dollars the as again we have to correlate technical analysis with the news because technical analysis takes precedence because oh i'm my bad sorry guys i removed by mistake that line because when i say that technicals takes precedence over um you know the news because look at it back when neo was producing less value or had less deliveries was less you know gen revenue generating company stock price was at 66 55 right now it's better than two years ago but the stock price is at eight dollars it's even like close to the ipo right like so this is what i'm telling that's um there's a lot that goes behind the stock price not just the company's fundamentals that's why we do the technical analysis as well. That's why we need to see the volumes. That, that's why we see the key levels. That's why we see the interest of the market, the market sentiment. And we club in with the news. So th it's like a, you know, wagon wheel. Like, you know, things needs to get in order before it's, it starts moving. And so this is what, you know, we are with NEO. But again, like, um, I believe that we just need that momentum back in the stock we need some more coverage on this stock in the media and some you know this stock will gain back momentum again because sooner or later as we see that neo is going to get out of this um, little bit of uh you know, how should i say it a territory or a pool of every common player player right what happens then in months and years to come like all okay let's take this example like lucid rivian xpeng you know lee auto uh, i mean all the companies you know in the early stage growth stage they have a lot of investors and everything so but over time what happens guys only the best survives and i believe neo is one of those and once that happens it will come on the top as a cream and the stock price will start reflecting you know that price as well it will start trading more on the momentum side it will become again like the day traders favorite and I'm very sure there are a lot of short sellers piled up here. Once the stock price gains momentum over $12 and 50 cents or so, or 37 cents or so, a lot of that covering will start happening and stock will be bound to the upside with all the positive news coming for NEO. And um, we just have to, right now, it's a waiting game with NEO. We need to see that momentum kick back in before we get a signal that okay, it's time to trade it again or add in more to the position. But right now, that money could be put to use in other places. As what I have been doing with my other trading that you can check out on my channel, all other videos that I have been doing. Um, and guys, that's pretty much a wrap up of this video I wanted to do. I hope you found value and uh, significance in this video. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.